Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this burger fi. Uh, this is a fairly new one in Lexington. We, we haven't had one of these for a while, so I'm going to get my camera set up and go through drive through and uh, we'll see what we get. Go ahead with the name for your order. I'm Kevin. And what can I get for you? Um, yeah, do you have the, um, the white cheddar mac and cheese burger? No, at this location. You don't have it here? Um, then I'll just take the ultimate bake, the meal number two. And what's the drink for you? Um, Diet Coke. And is that all for you? Yeah, that's it. Alright, so it's 1269, thank you. Okay, one thing to note. Not all locations have everything. There you go. This one looks like they have a lot. They're really pushing the veggie, veggie dogs, veggie burger, that kind of thing. Um, because they have a bunch of them. So this one doesn't have the bad stuff. They have the good stuff. <laughs> the healthier stuff. How are you? Fine. Have a nice day. Thank you. Can I have just a couple packs of ketchup? Uh, look, there should be some in there. Okay. There is. Thank you. All right, so that took 10 minutes basically um, once I got in line. So it wasn't uh, it wasn't a quick uh, drive through. And you uh, once I got up there, it went pretty quick. But um, it, they didn't they didn't rush it. That's for sure. I wonder if I can pull right back here. All right, so here are the fries, and here's the burger. It's a ultimate bacon cheeseburger. It comes with double bacon, double burger, and double cheese. Is basically what it comes with. And it was the burger was actually in this box, and I had to slide it out. Um, and, but it's wrapped in paper as well, so I don't know why they put it in the box. I guess, it's, I don't know. The, I don't know. Anyway, um, I know it's to keep this from getting exposed, but it was like they could have just wrapped it in paper. So anyway, I'm going to set my camera up, and um, now I'll talk about the prices. Okay, so let me tell you what the prices were. Um, I got the meal, which included uh, the burger, the fries, and this drink. Um, I just got a Diet Coke. Um, the bacon cheese meal with the uh, ultimate bacon um, cheeseburger was eleven ninety seven, which is a little expensive. With, uh, like I said, you get the fries and the drink with uh, tax and everything. So it was eleven ninety seven, seventy two cents in tax. So the total was twelve sixty nine. That is like, um, that's like um, um, Red Robin and, and Five Guys prices. I mean, that's, uh, it's a little expensive for, for a cheeseburger, basically. And I was surprised that they didn't have everything. Like when I ordered, when I asked if they had the white cheddar uh, cheeseburger, that was what they had listed. It was one they listed on their website. And it looked really, really good. It had jalapenos and a, a macaroni and cheese, like uh, fried, uh, like layer on top of it. It looked really, really good. So when I pulled up, I didn't see it on their menu. I, like their menu was very, very small compared to uh, what I'd seen online. And it's like, do you have this? And she said, they don't carry it at that location. It's like, why would you not carry everything on your menu? And how do you know that before you go, you know? And that's the only location in Lexington that I know of, at least. I'm pretty sure it's the only one in Lexington. So um, so basically, you just can't ever get that unless you go to a different location entirely somewhere else around here. So I'm going to try the fries first. They look like a, kind of like a rough cut fry with a, uh, with a skin still on them. They're good, but they're not super hot. And you would think with all the waiting for 10 minutes, and I know some people think 10 minutes is nothing to wait. Um, around here, 10 minutes is kind of a long time with only two cars in front of you. It's kind of a long, long drive there. I like the flavor of the fries. They're, they're, they have a really good flavor. They're your typical potato-y, skin-on french fries. That's what they taste like. I like them. Wish they were a little hotter, but but I do like them. Um, I think it's cool that they actually, like, brand um, the burger. Let me show you what I mean. The, the garbage. They actually brand the bun with burger fry. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm assuming it's branded like uh, not ink or anything. <laughs> Might be... Might be food grade ink, who knows? Okay. So I'm gonna take a bite right here where everything is. A 
And hey, what? It's got a lot of bacon on there. Look at all that bacon. It's tons. That was a big bite. Um, the bacon has a really good flavor. It's good and smoky. It's um, it's crisp without being hard, so that's a good thing. It's not smushy, but it's not hard either. Um, the burger also has a really good flavor. It's a good, you know, meaty ground beef hamburger flavor. The cheese is good. Cheese has never been one of those things that really stood out to me flavor-wise. Um, you know, and when I get a cheeseburger, it's like it probably adds more texture than flavor, and it probably adds some flavor to it too. I probably would miss if it wasn't there, but I've never thought cheese was really a standout flavor on a cheeseburger. It's always been the the burger and the other things. Now this doesn't include. I don't think it even has any condiments. Yeah, it has some mayo on the bottom. No, 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 no it doesn't. It doesn't have any condiments on it at all. There's no mayo, mustard. Um, ketchup nothing like that so it's literally bacon meat and cheese um i did ask for ketchup and she said that it was already in the bag which they did gave me like three or four little packs of ketchup um i'm not missing necessarily anything it doesn't come with less tomato any of that stuff um i'm not necessarily missing it but it would be uh, even better if it had like a little bit of mayo on there or um, um ketchup and mustard would be fine too but mayo would be really really good so it's a good burger I like the I like the smokiness of it, of the bacon. So I'm gonna give. I'm not gonna judge the fries on the heat because that is, you know, if I'd went in uh, five minutes earlier, or five minutes later, they might have been piping hot, like scald my mouth off. Who knows? So I'm only gonna judge them by flavor. The fries I do like. <laughs> Uh, they're a little potatoey, which is typical for the skin on. So I'm going to give those a four out of five. The burger, I'm also going to give, um, you know, it's a good burger. It, it really it does have a really good flavor. I'm not going to give it quite a five out of five because they could have added some condiments on it or some spot or sauces to put on to make it level up a little bit better. But I am going to give it a solid four. Definitely worth trying out. It's a really, really good hamburger. Um, like I said, the only thing it would push it to five if they put some kind of um, dressing on it of some kind, like a, a sauce or something. But beyond that, it is a good place to go. Disappointed they didn't have everything that was listed on their online menu. That is disappointing. And um, But yeah, you, you get what you get. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.